in here in September uh, with a little update. Uh, this last, uh, I just arrived back from Alaska. I spent three weeks up there um, with some very good friends and talented photographers in their own right, people I've known in the travel industry for years. Um, with the plans to backcountry hike and photograph Northern Lights and the whole bag. And, and for me, fortunate to have three weeks to do that. Eh, well, the weather didn't really uh, play ball this September in Alaska, uh, but we still got some great views. Saw Denali, the tallest mountain in North America. And um, while we didn't have a chance for the Northern Lights, eh, there'll be other chances. So, uh, so that's been great. Uh, past that, it is well into fall season here in Saskatchewan. Uh, I've got a month before I head out to Myanmar. Uh, and in the meantime, you know, the leaves are quickly falling. Uh, they've all turned to yellow. And the ones that aren't on the ground will probably be on the ground uh, in the coming days. Uh, speaking of Myanmar, uh, I'll be back in a month. I'm super excited. I'll be leading one of my untours to Myanmar um, in early November. Uh, and before that, I'm going to be back working on my documentary project called This Myanmar Life. This is a project I've been working on since, you know, 2012, 2011, 2012, um, over the course of 20 odd trips to Myanmar. And uh, I'm going to go back and find some of the people that I've spoken with over the years and seeing how their lives have changed um, as the country has, has changed and shifted, you know, uh, politically, economically, uh, culturally, uh, these sorts of things. Um, it's some of my favorite work to do, um, and so I'm super excited to, to, to get back on the ground for that kind of stuff. Uh, on the Myanmar tip, um, I've just announced, uh, I know for a lot of people, they're planning um, well in advance um, their trips and things like that. So um, I've announced um, my two trips for the Untour to Myanmar in 2020. That's in February of 2020 and November of 2020. Um, you'll find a link to that below. You can also check it out on the website. Um, uh, I know for some people, yeah, they want to book well in advance, plan that stuff out. Uh, for me, I kind of have the, the fortunate part where um, my schedule doesn't usually get planned out so much in advance. Um, so, uh, but I want to make it easy for, for anybody that wants to go. So do join me for that. Um, yeah, of course, Myanmar is my favorite place. Um, I also have um, much of the next six months planned out and it's going to be taking me to some places I'm very familiar with um, and some new places. Uh, so, um, so I'm excited to, to tell a little bit more about that, but I will be back. I'm planning on being back in Chiang Mai in Northern Thailand, um, in December and into the new year, uh, before I head to Ukraine and Chernobyl in early January. If you want to photograph, uh, Chernobyl with me in the winter time, uh, you can find some information on that in the link below. Um, besides that, uh, it's almost getting to be like, it's going to freeze here within a couple of days. I, I'm sure we'll get the, the first bits of snow um, as, <laughs> at least here in Saskatchewan, there isn't uh, much of a gap between summer and winter. You know, I think officially summer ended a couple of days ago and I think it might even snow this weekend. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll get some snowshoes on before I go, but um, you never know here in Saskatchewan. Anyways, Hope you're well. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, send a message uh, or reply to this email. And um, yeah, take care.